Let's go grocery shopping. Yeah. We're at Kaufland. Um, you can't really see it back there. My favorite grocery store. Let's go inside. Our cart so far. My dad is going to be here for Father's Day. They're coming to visit. So I got a gift bag for some beer that I'm getting him for his visit. My daughter likes these um, little, kind of like English muffins. They're organic. Um, I make her little pizzas for lunch with them with some organic tomatoes and salami and cheese. So I get those, but other than that, I really don't even come in this bread Hi. section anymore like I did the first few months that we lived here when I used to buy this stuff. Now I get all the fresh bread that was recommended to me. Hey. Um, so again, and then this kind of stuff like we make all of our own. So on to the bread, the fresh bread. So this is their fresh bed, bread section. Um, if you look under it, it will tell you basically what is inside each different bread. Um, so lately I've been getting sometimes the white bread up here. Otherwise this one's really good. As you can see, there's not a ton of ingredients um, in them compared to the packaged bread or toast that they sell here. So today I'm going to be picking this one. I'll look that up later because I have no idea really what that says. So you just reach in here, grab your bread, and we're going to take it to the bread machine. You want to do it? All right. Close that. Compress the button. What way? The big one. This way? Yep. And it cuts your bread for you. Pretty genius. this for me. This board right here. I'm gonna take it out. Put it here. And then it joins up. Are you recording it? Can you see the bread? Mm -hmm. um, but if you, if yep. you want to stop, you can press that. Yeah. Press it now. So then you're gonna, nope, not yet. Oh. Okay, that was kind of messy, but Y'all get the point. <laughs> Organic strawberries. It says it right there. Bio. Something you don't see every day. And only $2.79. Yeah. So just a little bit more than... Um, I don't even see the price for the other strawberries. A little bit more than the regular strawberries. So we're going to go organic. Organic nectarines. Yay! Organic bananas are on sale, so we're gonna grab some. One fifty for all of those organic bananas. Yes. Organic kiwi. Organic apples. <laughs> organic apples. We're gonna get two bags because we go through a ton of apples in our house. Yes, I love those apples. Um, organic pears. Yes. Bean sprouts that are from Germany, grown here actually in Hamburg, so not far away from us. And we're gonna put that in our chicken curry tonight. So they don't sell organic chicken here from what I found, but anything with this little stamp on it basically means GMO free. So whenever I'm buying meat um, on the economy, that's what I look for. So this is the type of chicken I get. It's $3 for about two large chicken breasts. Um, and then we've been getting our beef, like you've seen in my last video, from a local farmer. So we only get chicken um, from the grocery store. Organic feta. We go through feta like crazy in our house. $1.69 for a big old block of that. Um, we've also been venturing out into these different like cheese spreads, cream cheese spreads, um, cork spreads, stuff like that. They're amazing on sandwiches. Super good. They even have a small organic selection. So sometimes I get this one. Um, yeah, really, really good. <laughs> Yogurt, 
0.1% fat, um, found some organic cheddar cheese, applesauce, I got bamboo shoots for um, the Thai curry that I'm making, some organic pizza sauce that I like. Since the Euro Cup is going on, everything in the grocery store is like Germany themed, which I love. It's so funny coming and seeing all this. There's like soccer ball, chocolate. These are German flag colors. Um, then they got like tons of chips and stuff for tailgating and Ooh, barbecues. Let me Dish, dish, yeah, chocolate. Give me chocolate. Chocolate ball. It's like bigger than my hand. Let me try my hand. Oh, I got these last time we were here. These are dangerous. Honey bacon kettle chips. Oh man. Can I touch the mushroom? It feel good. American Ooh. style barbecue marshmallows. And, and <laughs> Hilarious. They have those chips. Pringles. Oh yeah, look at that. Pringles. <laughs> We've been purchasing this organic maple syrup for whenever I make pancakes and stuff like that. The kids get a little bit of that on top of theirs instead of like the sugar-free chemicals that I used to buy. And organic peanut butter. Um, the only ingredient in this is roasted peanuts. You can't find anything at the military base that's organic, so I've been buying this instead. $1.95, it's kind of a small jar, um, so I always get like two or three. <laughs> beer is on sale, 10 euro for this giant case of beer. My dad drinks pills, so we're gonna get that for his um, Father's Day. visit. Father's Day. <laughs> Loading up the car, charcoal, beer, got a new steam mop hours broke um, they do not do plastic bags here like they do in the state so I always bring reusable didn't quite bring enough today so this one's like way over full over over full over full <laughs> and um, a bit of a mess but crackers um, yeah so that's how you do it you reuse your bags here um, otherwise you have to pay like 10 cents 10 euro cent a bag or something crazy like that so it's a good way to help the environment if you're not using reusable grocery bags do so I remember in the States yeah we got chocolate because they were on sale why would you not get chocolate if it was on sale it's like a dollar fifty for this giant old thing Ooh, <laughs> um, but anyways that was our grocery trip but like I've said, a lot of things have changed since we've moved here. I got a ton of criticism on my last two um, grocery shopping vlogs that I did um, about how long I keep the refrigerator doors open in the store, um, the crappy products that I buy, how expensive my grocery bill was, um, the main thing being the bread. I mentioned it earlier in the vlog, but um, to my defense, toast, what they call toast in Germany, is what we consider bread in the states like pre-sliced pre-packaged bread is what i grew up on and i think what your average american grows up on in the states here it's not done that way and everybody every german that watched my video or european at that was like you're buying toast and eating that as bread like they couldn't believe it um and now i can kind of see why now that i've um been here for nine months and i've been grocery shopping i don't shop on base um, with all the american brands i do the, go there for a few things every once in a while but for the most part i shop here and at a few other netto uh little little i'm not sure how to say it. i think it's little um Etika, those are a few other smaller grocery stores that i stop at um and then along with the bielandhof that is um, in our village. I stopped there for fresh produce. We get almond butter from there, um, our beef, stuff like that. So again, a, a lot has changed, especially with the bread. I buy all of our bread, even if I'm using it as toast or sandwich bread from bakeries now. Um, there's probably five or six ingredients in that bread. No preservatives. Another thing that like blows my mind is how fast the bread goes bad. 
Like in the States, you can have your toast or prepackaged sliced bread last you two weeks, where here after five or six days, it starts getting moldy, um, which is how things should be. It just blows my mind because I'm not used to that. Being in the States, everything has is filled with preservatives and um, that's just the norm. You know, you don't really think about it because that's just what you're raised on um, and what everybody else does. But here it's a lot different. Um, applesauce, when I buy the kids like a jar of applesauce, you have to eat it within the week, otherwise it goes moldy. In the States, I could have a jar of applesauce open in the fridge for like a month and there's not a trace of mold in it. So it's just very eye-opening. Um, it's definitely changed the way we um, uh, our consumers, I guess, um, buying all organic if we can. Um, if it doesn't come on organic, we have to make our own decision whether or not we want to buy it. Um, in Germany, there's not as many pesticides and fertilizers and stuff used um, as there is in the state. So if it's not organic, I do feel okay purchasing it. Um, but for the most part, we've made a huge change in the way that we eat um, for our health, for the environment, stuff like that. You guys might be a little disappointed without um, me, without my Pop-Tarts and all the typical stuff that I used to eat. Don't get me wrong, I did buy chocolate bars. You've seen that. Um, so I'm not giving it up 100%. I'm just being a lot more cautious about um, our health and the way we live our lives. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'll be doing some more more often, but um, until next time, remember if I can, so can you.